Alkanes are a homologous series of saturated hydrocarbons, so they only contain hydrogen and carbon. A homologous series is a series of compounds with the same functional group, which means they'll have a similar structure. Alkanes, alkenes, alcohols and carboxylic acids are examples of other homologous series. The general formula for an alkane is CnH2n plus 2. That means for every carbon atom, there'll be twice as many hydrogen atoms, plus an extra two at the ends. The first four alkanes are methane, CH4, ethane, C2H6, propane, C3H8, and butane, C4H10. Alkanes are saturated, which means that all their atoms have formed the maximum number of bonds possible. Carbon forms four bonds, and hydrogen forms one. That means there's no room for any more atoms to be added. As the alkane molecules get bigger, it takes more energy to break them apart, so their boiling points increase. Bigger alkanes also get more viscous and less flammable. This means butane has the highest boiling point, is the most viscous, and the least flammable of the first four alkanes. Methane, on the other hand, has the lowest boiling point, is the least viscous, and is the most flammable, so it's very useful as a fuel. We can use the general formula for alkanes to work out how many hydrogen atoms are in an alkane with a given number of carbon atoms, and vice versa. If an alkane has six carbon atoms, n equals six. So 2n equals 12, and 2n plus two is 12 plus two, which is 14. That means an alkane with six carbon atoms will have 14 hydrogen atoms, and its formula will be C6H14. If an alkane has 10 carbon atoms, n is 10. So 2n is 20, and 2n plus 2 would be 20 plus 2, which is 22. That means an alkane with 10 carbon atoms will have 22 hydrogen atoms. So its formula will be C10H22. If an alkane has 38 hydrogen atoms, then 2n plus 2 must be equal to 38. That means 2n is 2 less than that, which is 36. If 2n is 36, then n must be 18. That means an alkane with 38 hydrogen atoms will have 18 carbon atoms, so its formula will be C18H38. Here are some practice questions for you to try. Pause the video and give them a go. Alkanes are saturated hydrocarbons because all their atoms have formed the maximum number of bonds. The general formula for an alkane is CnH2n plus 2. Propane is the third alkane, so it has three carbons and it looks like this. Methane has a lower boiling point than butane because it's smaller, but it's more flammable than butane. For an alkane with seven carbon atoms, N is equal to seven. So 2N is equal to 14, and 2N plus two must be 16. That means an alkane with seven carbon atoms will have the molecular formula C7H16. For an alkane with 24 carbon atoms, N is 24. So 2N is 48, and 2N plus two would be 50. That means an alkane with 24 carbon atoms will have the molecular formula C24H50. For an alkane with 26 hydrogen atoms, 2n plus 2 is 26, so 2n is 2 less than that, which is 24, and n is half of that, which is 12. That means an alkane with 26 hydrogen atoms will have the molecular formula C12H26. I hope the video was helpful for you. Thank you for watching.